Hey guys, Rim Record 411 and welcome back to my channel. So, it's time for another hairstyle. I absolutely love the twist with the perm rods. I loved them. But I learned a lot of things along the way for when I get ready to do it again. So, be ready for the next time I do it. It's going to be even better. So, this is hairstyle number four, I think. Because I already have my final hairstyle. Uh, Yolanda suggested uh, mini twists. So that's going to be day seven. This is number four, if I'm not mistaken. We're going to go in with Curl Stretch Putting by Shea Moisture. It's supposed to give you stretch on your wash and go. And this is, it has flaxseed oil in it, red palm oil, and cocoa butter. It's curly. For curly coily shrinkage prone hair and my hair does shrink up but I'm I'm about to find out if it really shrinks up or not or is that just the length of my hair you see what I'm saying you see what I'm saying so I'm about to apply their leave-in can be used as a leave-in or it can be used as a rinse out so you you have your your options now I'm just sectioning off my hair because remember I told y'all I was going to start working in sections when it comes to the conditioners to make sure everything is copacetic. Every hair strand is covered. You feel me? So let's work on this side first. Woo, y'all, the twist and, um, the twist and perm rod, hold on, y'all, hey, the twist and perm rod, that's a very good hairstyle to do in the winter, in, in, in the winter time, you, you hear me, because, uh, y'all check, check the, check what the temperature's been in Texas, just check it out. I wait. I wait. I lost that humidity. Hit them. Hit that twisting, and that was it. Now I see right now. This is in a pump. This is in a pump. Um, I usually don't have good. Well, look at there. It's pumping out good. All right. So I usually don't have good. Um results with pumps and conditioners because sometimes the conditioners can just be too thick can be too thick and i just don't have good results but anywho like i was saying the Twists with the perm rods is a bomb hairstyle and I'm telling you I I figured out a way to make it even better um, You use Pretty much I have to go and get some more uh, purple or pink perm rods Because I'm going to need more of those when putting up my hairstyle when doing that hairstyle again because the smaller the perm rod the more defined the the ends are going to come out so yeah oh i like the way this is just has a a faint little scent to it but i like the way it's melting in my hair Look, look, and it's like you don't even, you haven't even put any on. Huh. Yeah, see, I wouldn't have been getting this if I would have kept uh, putting my leave-in conditioner all over my head without, you know, separating my hair. But when I had shorter hair, I didn't have to do it. So, you grow. I'm growing as a as a person <laughs> now I'm learning things that I didn't know before 
but we're gonna see how much stretch I can get with this Shea Moisture. I wanna, I wanna see, I wanna see how long my hair then got. I wanna see, and I wanted to see if it's gonna stay stretched, cause that's the the what I'm taking from it is stretch putting for prone, shrinkage prone hair and all that so it should give me some stretch right all right that's what i want to see i want to see if i get some stretch and hey guys even after the seven days is up if y'all have some ideas and stuff that y'all want me to try just leave it down in the comment section and let me know because i'm i'm willing to to do it that's what my channel is about. I'm on a natural hair journey, but ideas and stuff. I mean, I have subscribers, and y'all just don't want to see what I want to do. Y'all want to see some of the things y'all want to do as well. So just hit me up and let me know. And you can always inbox me on Instagram at the real McCoy 411. I've had to put a T H E in front of it. So it's the real McCoy 411. Somebody already had real McCoy 411. I'm like, who got real McCoy 411? That's me. That's me. But evidently somebody beat me to it. And all it is is real McCoy 411. 411 is my birthday, April 11th. So, all right. Leave-in is in the hair. Now, we're going to go in and work in these same sections. Okay? We're going to work in these same sections and go in with the... I'm sorry. I'm trying to see what Candy doing back there. She's making weird sounds. Now, I do have the Extreme Wet Line Gel just in case I need it. But I'm about to check this out. So let's look at the consistency of it. There's really no smell. It's, I mean, it's got oil and cocoa butter and flaxseed oil. So it's not perfumey or nothing. Wow. But it's thick, it's legit. There's some thick stuff. No wonder you're going to get some stretch. It's going to hold your hair down. Alright. This is thick, but it's melting into my hair. Oh. Okay. Let me see something. It's thick, but it's a cream. So, I'm going to still need a gel for some hold. It looks stretched. It looks stretched. My hair is in layers, so how that happened, I don't know. The back of my hair is longer than the middle of my hair. I mean, it's okay, but you got to have some kind of hole out here in this heat. You got to. Because this, if I take this and go somewhere and come back, it's just going to be a fluffed up afro. But it's very moisturizing. It's very moisturizing. I'm not saying anything against the product. 
my hair feels like it has some good butter and stuff in it and yeah okay well it's a plus on the on the stretch and it's a plus on the uh moisture that's for sure take the lid off of this extreme and give it some hold hopefully it'll stay stretched I see some type of reaction happening. Now, it does not go with the leave-in. Well, the wet line does not go with this. That's, that's strange because I watched another video and they used wet line, but it was the white one. So what I'm going to have to go do is rinse out this section of my hair. And I'm not going to have a gel to use because I'm not, I don't want to try that unicorn gel. I'm going to have to rinse out this side of my hair and just put on the curl stretch pudding because this side is getting a reaction and I have to use a leave-in now probably if I wouldn't have used the leave-in well thinking about it the video I watched they did not use a leave-in they did not use the leave-in but I have to have a leave-in so, y'all hang tight real quick. I'm just going to go rinse out this back section and come right back and just apply the pudding. That's all I can do. Do you know how difficult that is trying to go in there in your kitchen sink and just rewash one section? One section? I'm good. Let me put my leave-in in. Okay, so we won't be using wet line gel. We will not be using wet line extreme gel. It was either two things. It was either the person I was watching because they did not use a leave-in and they had the white extreme gel. It was either one of those two things. So. Let's go back in with this thick cream. And just add the moisture. Because my hair do need some moisture, so it ain't a bad thing. But it's going to be puffy. It's supposed to stretch it. I don't think it's stretching it. But it is moisturizing. So, it didn't say nothing about it not being puffy. <laughs> Can't get mad at it. It didn't say nothing about it not being puffy. So, it's got my curls there and my hair is soft and it looked like it stretched. Moving on to the next section. We spent too much time in one section. Okay, so the leave ends in. I'm gonna speed up the video. We're gonna get this done. Thank you. 
all right so this is the finished look of course it's still wet but it's fluffy which is okay with me you know i don't mind fluffy but it's very moisturized and i like that so i put up a flat twist here and i put up a flat twist there just to try to keep the hair out of the front of my face and i'm about to do something different y'all I'm about to do something different. Y'all ain't even ready for this. Y'all not going to be ready for this. No. You're not going to be ready for this. Because I'm not. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to put on some pressed powder. Well, first, hold on. I've been watching some videos. Okay. So, hold on. Hold on. Make sure my hands are good and clean. Okay, let me put away that. Y'all get some extra today. What? You heard me? You heard me? I'm going to clamp this up over here just so I can have free face. Okay, first thing the girl did was, <laughs> I don't remember her name. I just was watching. She took some primer. And it's a uh, never touch up face primer, right? And she put, she didn't even put that much. She just put like that much. And she put it in spots over her face. Okay. And then once she did that, she took her hand and just rubbed it in here. And it's a primer. You're supposed to put it on before. Y'all already know. It's new to me. You're supposed to put it on before you put on your foundation and all that. But I didn't get all that. I don't I don't get down with all that stuff. Okay. So I have the primer on my face. Then we got some pressed powder, baby. Junior high days. The last time I had to use this stuff. And it come with it's kiss. Kiss. And it comes with a little little sponge here, so. And I'm gonna put the. Now y'all tell me if I'm doing any of this wrong. I ain't doing no mascara or nothing like that. I don't know how to do eyeshadow. I'm doing what I know how to do. I know, right, Candy? Candy said, who is that? Okay, so that's natural because I love natural looks. I love natural looks. I don't I don't like bizarre, bizarre looks. Okay, so I got I got two per two uh lipsticks, y'all. Two different color lipsticks. So one it's uh truesome truism truism i got it it's it's from kiss new york professionals and i got the dark soul and i got the some wine so i'm gonna go with the dark soul no my soul ain't dark I can't open it. Right. And she said, if you get some, mm, that's all I need. I don't need no more than that. Um, she said, touch up around your lips
Ooh. Mm -mm. Okay. Yeah, y'all get to raw footage. I don't try to make. I ain't trying to make it pretty. I'm trying to make it <laughs> make y'all get to know me. Okay. Well, this is the final look, guys. This is the final look. Uh, yes, I'm starting to glisten. You see why I don't do? I don't do makeup. You see why I don't do it? Cause I, I'm a sweaty person. No, not a sweaty person, but I perspire a lot in the T zone. You know, T zone. So, what do you guys think? Tell me down in the comments below. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. Click on the red uh, subscribe button so you can become a part of the Real McCoy gang. And also click on that bell icon and select all so you can see all of the videos that I'm about to put out, baby. Okay? Okay? So, I will see you guys in the next video which I will have on makeup again. Yes, I will. I will have it on again. Yes, I will. I may try the other color lipstick. Those are the only things that can be different. The lipstick and the earrings. Sorry. I can't do anything else. So, guys, it was good talking to you all. I'll see y'all later. Y'all got me looking all cute and stuff. The hair is smelling good. Feeling good. Moisturized for sure. That stuff is thick and creamy. Thick. I mean, I can go walk away and leave it like this. It ain't gonna move at all. Not today, not tomorrow, not the next day. See y'all later. Bye. Oh, uh, uh wait. Keep God first in everything you do, and I do mean everything you do. That's on a serious tip. Keep God first. All right. Bye, y'all.